Hello there, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I've got something new for you today. Uh, I've got a comparison video between these two casinos. So why have I got two casinos? Well, I think I got in on the hype that uh, Get Back brought around with it. I realized I'd never owned uh, a fully hollow electric guitar before. Um, I, I do want to get hold of at some point a, uh, a Gibson ES175 because one of my personal guitar heroes, Steve Howe, uses one, but uh, they are a little bit beyond my means at the moment. Um, so I thought I'd give these a go because they are uh, they are a lot cheaper than sort of the True Blue Gibson uh, counterparts. The interesting thing about the Epiphone Casino, as a lot of you will already know, is it is an Epiphone model in its own right. It's not like the, as, as in the current Gibson lineup, it, or the current Epiphone lineup, sorry. It's not an inspired by Gibson guitar. It is an, an Epiphone own guitar, like the Riviera as well, which is a mini humbucker guitar. Um, but yeah, I originally picked up the Casino Coupe in the, uh, in, in the, in the vintage Sunburst. Um, just to give it a try and uh, then I saw one of these on sale so I thought I'd pick one of these up uh, see how they are uh, against each other and then sell on the one that I, do, I uh, like the least right spec wise they are relatively similar they've both got uh, a laminated maple top and I think it's five five laminations um, top back and sides mahogany neck the tuners of uh, the uh, Clusen vintage style. Um, they both have the trapeze tailpiece. They both have a. Uh, they both have a sort of similar bridge. This is a tunematic style, whereas the C Casino Coupe is more more of an ABR one style. Um, but that's generally where the similarities end. Uh, the style, I'll get onto the neck in just a moment. The pickups on this version are a lot uh, they're a lot better that they're the epiphone pro line uh, whereas the ones on the coupe are just the run-of-the-mill epiphone p90s there are cts pots in this model as well as a switchcraft switch and i believe there's orange rock capacitors in this as well which just makes for a much a much better sound uh, i'll get onto a playing demo uh, between the two uh, shortly but uh, if you'll bear with me i'll uh, carry on through the specs um each each one's downfalls are the other one's uh, success stories really. Um, the only thing I don't like about this one is the neck. It's the slim taper C style, so it's a lot thinner than I'm used to. I prefer thicker necks, so the neck wins out on the Casino Coupe because it's a slim taper D style. Um, if you know, I'll, I'll put up in an annotation somewhere what the difference is for you so you can sort of visualize that. Um, the other downfall, from my perspective at least, is this has got a laurel fretboard instead of a rosewood fretboard for obvious reasons. Um, the, the coupe that I've got, being an older model, is uh, it's got a rosewood fretboard on it, which I which I do like. Um, otherwise, uh, this has got a, a Graftec new bone nut. This has just got a regular plastic nut. Uh, both have got two-way truss rods, um, but yeah. It's enough about specs, we'll get on to uh, playing demo. And yes, I did take the pig guards off both of these guitars. I'm not a huge fan of the floating pig guards on uh, sort of Gibson or Epiphone guitars or any sort of guitars like this, to be perfectly honest. Just a personal preference, uh, I, I think you should be given the, given the choice rather than, uh, than just sticking it on, especially considering it's a pig guard, so it's supposed to guard from picks, but more often than not, it leaves damage. So I've recently updated my studio setup here. I've now got uh, a short SM57 mic running into a Behringer a UMC 202 HD audio interface. Um, so hopefully you're getting an, un an unfiltered uh, sound similar to what I'm hearing in the room. But uh, here we go.
Well, I hope the uh, demo was enlightening for you. Uh, to me, in the room, the Warn Casino uh, won out on the uh, on, on the coupe. Um, I, I don't know if it's just my, my bias because of the colour. Um, something I forgot to mention in the specs. It's just uh, uh, the, the, the worn finish. It's got a much more of a satin feel, which I do quite like on on the next. It just gives a slicker feel. Um, also, there's no grain fill, so you can see all of the, the grain underneath the, uh, the, the quite, quite thick paint. Um, it's got a, sort of a Chris Cornell sort of vibe to it, which is part of the reason why I bought it as well. Um, but yeah, on to my final thoughts, because uh, one of these has got to go. Unfortunately, I think it is going to be this one. Uh, in a perfect world, I'd be able to swap out uh, what parts work and what, what don't. I mean, I quite like the small, the smaller body size and the neck. But uh, the uh, electronics and the body size, are, I think I, I quite like the feeling of the, of the bigger size body. Uh, this, this is convenient, don't get me wrong, if, you, if you're uh, averse to sort of the larger sized uh, bodies or the, the, the sort of proper 335 size bodies. The 339 style size of the, uh, of the Casino Coupe is perfect. You get all, all of the same sort of features, a similar sort of sound uh, in, in a much smaller package. But uh, yeah, hopefully you find this video interesting or useful uh, if you're looking at both of these guitars. Um, if you did enjoy the video, please leave a like and consider subscribing. Uh, if there's anything I've missed, please do leave a comment and I'll see you next time.